run. Just run. It's looking hot out there today. Well, it's actually pretty fresh out here. I've put my shorts on in the hope that it will be kind of warm today. It says on the weather it's going to be kind of warm, so let's hope. As you can see, maybe not, maybe you can't see. There you go. I've got my shorts on and a train selfishly decides to go past as I'm doing my video. What an idiot. Not really going to work with this chair, but I was trying to do the whole confident sort of 32 year old male teacher chair swizzle So that then it makes people think I'm really confident and cool and really secure in my ability to do things But yeah, okay, didn't really work. Anyway, so today we are going sourcing. It's Saturday I might find something. I might find nothing Either way, I blame myself for whatever happens, so if I find something, I blame myself. If I find nothing, I blame myself. Let's get on with this. Let's throw a bit of editing in there, maybe if I can be bothered editing. If I can't, then you're going to get a pretty slap together vlog. Depends on my kind of mood when I'm editing. But yeah, let's hopefully slap a bit of cool editing in there and uh, let's get on with the day. Before a big day of sourcing, be sure to get your multi-grain shapes in. Or, I was going to say fibre, but I just, yeah, screwed that one up, didn't I? Uh, but yeah, be sure to get your fibre goodness in. So, I went to a garden centre the other day and just randomly picked up some stuff that were on offer. They were uh, 19 99 reduced to a fiver. I think they go for about similar to that, about similar to sort of 90, 18 19 quid on Amazon. And I've got some other stuff here to go to the lockup as well for my quarter four pile. So, that's cool. Um, when I get to the lockup, I might very briefly give you a glance at the quarter four pile, but don't worry, I'm going to do an in depth video in October uh, showing you the stuff that I've got for Q4 for Amazon. So, while we are waiting to get off, obviously my mum isn't in the car. Oh, it looks like, oh, oh no, that's the thing. <laughs> There's a device there. I was like, what's that there? It looks like someone's in the passenger side. No, um, yeah, while we're waiting for my mum to get in the car, I thought, because I've not really shown this for a while, and I know it might interest a few people, I don't know, maybe not, but I'm just going to do a very quick segment showing you my device that I use to drive with, because obviously a lot of you will know that I have cerebral palsy, and I drive an automatic, and I drive it with what's known as as a lollipop steering wheel device. So I thought I'd just show you that very quickly for those of you who are new to the channel. It might be quite interesting. It's in the car now. The MVP's arrived. Do you know what MVP means? I don't, and I've got no makeup on the mouth. Oh, oh, it's fine. Uh, loads of people come on camera without makeup on. No, MVP means most, oh, you do. most valuable player. Oh. So you're the most valuable player in the block. Anyway, so uh, this is my little steering wheel ball. It's not very good lighting in here, but I use these to do the indicators. That cancels the indicators. That's, what's that? That's like flashing my headlights, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and then some of these are windscreen, windscreen wipers here. I really should know what all this, because I, <laughs> I, I still, I just use them. I just use them. And then... God knows what these are up here, I never use them, but yeah, they're windscreen wipers and then that's, yeah, and that's the horn there. Oh, no, the indicators. Yeah. Oh, no, they're the indicators. Oh, we need no. to get to grips with this, Adam. No, I, I know it, I know it. Yeah. I just, it was... just, it's just explaining it. You do it automatically. No, 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 I know the main ones. It's yeah, just yeah. these up here. I don't even know what we do. I don't, you, I never need to use them, so. Right. I think they might be the back windscreen wipers, actually. Uh... But I have hardly ever needed to use them, really. Yeah. Well, there she is, going in with a parcel. I have to stay here because I'm right near the road and normally I can't get out. Um, so sometimes my mum just pops them in for me, which is quite nice. If I've got a load though, I always do uh, get out and help her because it would be a bit mean to just lump her with about seven of them. Yeah, so she's gone in there. She's gone in the old bargain booze. Bargain booze, she'll probably pick up a whiskey on the way out as well. Right then, so we are here now and it's actually time to get on with some reselling stuff, with some reselling content. I know there's been a little bit of humour in this vlog, I know there's been a little bit of random stuff in this vlog so far. We're going to get on with the reselling content 
at some point, probably the next clip. And uh, yeah, we will see what we can get around the charity shops. And I will probably do a whole video tagged on to the end. Bloody hell. That guy's revving it, isn't he, on that bike? Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a uh, haul at the end of the video as well. So st stay tuned. It's going to be cool. Where are we getting some strawberries? I am. Oh, have you already come bagged up? Oh, cool. Oh, are they tomatoes? Oh, no. <laughs> they look like tomatoes on the video, then. Do they? Well, we did a minute ago. I don't know, just a little bag. <gasps> it's a plastic bag. It's not. Uh, oh, God. I'm going to have to bring me other bags. I've not brought me other bags. You're on this eco-friendly buzz, aren't you? Well, I was. The phase that's going on at the moment. Right, so we're back from the fruit and veg shop. We normally go to the supermarket to get our veg, but we decided to go there today. Uh, and yeah, it was like £2.50 for two leeks. And you don't even use half of the blooming leeks. So yeah, I think we should have got 50% off for the fact that we're going to cut off half of that anyway and not use it. So yeah, but hopefully some of it will taste better. So we are back for another hunting video and we are in Sue Ryder pleasantly having a look at the DVDs. Now a few of the charity shops at the bottom of town, there's a Sue Ryder, a uh, British Heart Foundation which we are actually in now and a Scope. I never really find any items in there, really you know maybe once a month, twice a month I'll pick something up. But for whatever reason I can't find any items in there really. Uh, there's, occasionally I'll pick up a handful of items and I'll think wow that was good. But generally a lot of the items that I find are from the top end of town. There's a few charity shops up there that are much better. Again we're in, we'll come back to Cancer Research now. Just having a look at the bric a black here seeing if I can find anything. But again today I walked out of Cancer Research empty handed. But the top end of town is where it's at. That's where the excitement is and that's where a lot of the items I normally find and that I can make some money on are sort of hanging around. So as you can see we're walking out of Sue Rider now and we are, sorry not Sue Rider, Cancer Research and we are going up to Sue Rider in the middle of town um, and yeah I'm just having a little browse of the clothing I can see a little Trolby hat here so I'm going to pick that up and have a look. I don't think it was a decent brand or anything so I ended up leaving it. Anyway we're coming to the end of these clips now so I will see you in the next video guys. I'm going to put some music to the next charity shop clip so hope you enjoy I can feel you in my heart lost in the desert, desert. but we'll stay together, together. So I've just been to the last charity shop, I didn't get anything in there but I did get a few items today so I'm pretty pleased with that because as you all know the charity shop's been dire around here um, recently so it's always good when I can get something. I am heading into Sainsbury's now to meet my mum and do a little bit more shopping and then I've got my lock up, I might even go to a couple of the charity shops outside of town as well. How's the MVP doing? Okay. Drink in the water before she's even bought it. Look at that. Disgusting. Like a child. Take me higher off the ground We're on fire But I need you now Take me higher Wait, wait. On to the next one. Yeah, no, final one of the day now. Oh, well it is, yeah. Yeah, final it's one of the day. day. We've, got, we've got like seven, eight items or something. Yes. About seven or eight items. So that's not yeah, too definitely. bad. That's not too bad. It's over there. 
St. Luke's, probably can't see it. So as promised, I know some of you will have seen this before and I'm going to do an in-depth video anyway um, but I know someone asked on Thursday talks about my Q4 stockpile so I thought I'd show it in this vlog. So it's basically all this shelf up here, I don't know whether you can get the scale of this but that's about 8 foot tall, the lockup is about 8 foot tall, so that's 8 foot down, all that there and then it's start slowly starting to come onto these shelves here. If by maybe October when I come to sort all this, we could have these done as well. So basically we've got a few more items on here and that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I've got a few more bits. I, I, these bits here were obviously I've just put in kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm fairly happy with it. Although I'd like, you know, you always want more, don't you? You always want a few more items. Um, but yeah, I think, it's, I think it's similar to last year in size, similar, um, but yeah, that's that anyway. Electra, Electra, did we get a lot today? Did we get a lot from sourcing? I don't know that. Oh, not, not you, Alexa, I said Electra, not Alexa. Alexa's going off over there. What do you think, Electra? Did we get a lot, yeah. Yeah, she loves it. She's going up there, that's a yes. That's a yes, she's gonna get a tweet there, look. On the prowl. So then, what did you think of today? Uh, busy. Yeah. Uh, you got some warm. good things. Very warm. Got a bit very hot warm. and bothered. Um, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being with my son. Ah. We got loads of stuff. We got big leaks that cost us far too much. Oh, you're still going over that no, I know, but God, bloody hell. I tell you. 60p a pepper. 60p a pepper. Ridiculous. Yeah, we'll have to go back to the supermarket next time, eh? Possibly, possibly, yeah. possibly. Hopefully there'll be less waste, though. I have got plastic bags for the veg, but I forgot to take my little paper bag. I think, you know, people are, people are just like it. If I just follow you around all day and do a vlog and it'll just be your vlog. I think loads of people would love that on the channel. I don't think they would. No, put, put it down below in the comments. Would you like that, would you like that to happen? <laughs> I've been following you around all day, no, doing no. Andrea vlogs. No, I don't think so. I think um, for a start, I'd have to put makeup on. Yeah, it's fine. Oh no, we're not going down that road. <laughs> Just realised what I'm saying. You'll, be, you'll become a diva though then. <laughs> you'll become a diva. Yeah, I could be the GC. I don't know how she does her hands, but does GC? she do it? The Who's GC, that? the Gemma Collins. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but... Mm. Come a you'll become a diva if you did that. <laughs> I wish I could.